Hi guys, I'm Profits from WowProfits.com. Welcome to another episode of Volume 1 Profits' Gold Making Series. And today we're just going to talk about, in general, real quick, what is Trade Skill Master? Trade Skill Master is an auction house add-on. Like uh, many others, like Auctioneer, Auctionator, uh, it allows you to interact with the auction house to be able to do things in an automated way, or to get, gain some efficiencies by doing things quicker. For instance, buying things uh, in bulk uh, very fast or selling, relisting or selling things very fast, uh, being able to search for specific things, uh, kind of like the native uh, UI available through Blizzard when you can type in the item level or uh, what you actually want to search for for quality, whether you want to search for uncommon, which is green or epic and so forth. It allows you to be able to do this efficient, efficiently and to be able to do it in a way that you can it's repeatable by just a click of a mouse button. So Trade Skill Master again can be found on the official site. If you notice here, you can pull up your favorite web browser. I use Chrome. But here you can go to tradeskillmaster.com, one word, tradeskillmaster.com, and it'll bring you to the official site uh, of the developers. What I want to know here too is I would encourage you to create a user account or a profile on their site. This allows you to do some uh, authorization, if you will, when you start talking about linking up the Trade Skill Master add-on or the application, Trade Skill Master application, which is an application that allows you to pull back-end prices on the realms that you're on uh, so you don't have to scan the auction house anymore. This completely eliminates that, so you no longer have to AFK at the auction house uh, while you're scanning it to get pricing information. This automatically does that for you. So by having a profile, you can allow this uh, desktop application to uh, have an authorization key that will allow that to communicate and get those prices for you. Very flexible. But yes, definitely create a profile. When you do that, it gives you the ability, again, to be able to do some back-end stuff on your account through this My Account profile. And that includes signing up for the beta of Trade Skill Master, the application 2.0, or the second version of the application. Uh, I'm not sure if they're calling it Trade Skill Master 2.0. Uh, notice that that's not the add-on that I'm talking about. This is the desktop application. So it's the next version of the desktop application that's in uh, development right now. So TradeSkillMaster.com is the site you want to go to. If you click Home, which will bring you to the main page, that's where you land on initially, create your profile. And then underneath TSM Add-on, this is where it actually lists all the add-ons that are currently uh, sanctioned by this development team. Notice all of them are right here. They have direct links that you can install through Curse, or if you wanted to go to Curse uh, directly, it will bring you to each of the Curse pages by themselves. Trade Skill Master by itself is the core add-on and then it also has some very extended flexibility with what I call modules or additional add-ons that support the core of Trade Skill Master. Trade Skill Master add-ons or modules include accounting which gives you detailed pricing information based upon your sales, your purchases, uh, your losses so it shows you the good and the bad of what you're doing, your cash flow or your gold flow, if you will. Uh, TSM auctioning is just that. It allows you to interact with the auction house to sell stuff. Auctioning is selling. Shopping is buying. So that gives you that functionality within Trade Skill Master to do that. Auction DB is a price source. It gives you the abilities to be able to use this auction DB, which many gold makers use as a pricing source, as it gathers information directly from Blizzard. Uh, based upon your interactions with the auction house. Trade Skill Master Crafting is the same thing. If you have professions, this this module within the Trade Skill Master Core add-on allows you some extreme flexibility and automation to be able to do crafting. Destroying the same thing. Hours spent milling herbs or smelting ores and stuff. This will give you the ability to be able to do that a little quicker. Item tracking, mailing, all of these, again, are additional uh, features within Trade Skill Master that allows you to do multiple things. Sending items across uh, your tunes based upon groups that you have set up in Trade Skill Master very quickly through mailing and item tracking. 
Shopping is just that. You want to buy things from the auction house. Gives you the ability to be able to do that very quickly uh, and very efficiently. Warehousing, WOW Auction, another pricing source. Uh, and then this is what we talked about, the TSM application, which is a separate uh, application that you'll be running in your system tray or your lower system tray down at the bottom, which will have uh, detailed pricing information. This is a look at the beta version or Trade School Master application version 2.0 or whatever they're calling it. It's currently in build R236. But this allows you, again, based upon your realms, to go and pull detailed information on pricing. It allows you to do exports uh, based upon which realm you specifically pick sales exports so if you can export it to a csv file and crunch the numbers or export it and be as fancy as you want in your favorite uh, spreadsheet program back up that information as well so very excellent application that i highly recommend using as well as the trade skill master core add-on and its additional modules for full features uh, to be able to interact with the auction house how do you get trade skill master Besides this, you can go to the site. Again, the site will direct you to Curse. All of these modules are currently available on Curse.com. This is my version of the Curse client based upon your operating system. Uh, I'm running 64-bit Windows 8.1. This could look a little differently. Depends on that. So if it does look a little differently, there's two features that primarily you want to pay attention to. One is what your current add-ons are. And then the other one is, I want to get more add-ons. So if you want to actually get more add-ons, you just click the Get More Add-ons. You'll see at the bottom section, it will be loading its full database. And then all you have to do in the search is type in Trade Skill Master. One word. Notice, again, it's one word. And then there it will bring up all the Trade Skill Master uh, modules or add-ons. The first one, well, first what I want to show you is a very important feature here is uh, if you right click on any one of the top title bars here notice this says name popularity date likes category if you right click it there's a couple options that allows you to add multiple columns what I like to do is I click author I already have it enabled but if it's unabled all you have to do is click it and it will add the column called author why I like this is it allows you to basically see what are the official modules directly through Curse for Trade Skill Master. If you go to the website, you'll know exactly what the official modules are, but if you're doing it through Curse, you can tell by looking at the author and making sure that it has at least these two gentlemen, SAPU94 and BART39. If those two individuals are on that module, then it is it, then it is an official module of Trade Skill Master. You notice as we scroll down here, there's some other developers who are uh, creating and developing and sharing some excellent add-ons, which I also use, which do interface with Trade Skill Master, but they're not an officially part of the core add-on features uh, sanctioned by Trade Skill Master and the developers, which are SAPU94 and BART39. There are additional developers which are supporting these two gentlemen. But as long as they have these two, uh, it's official module. So you can see some other modules here that people are creating. Again, these modules are by no means inferior. They're exceptional modules. They are just not bundled or part of the core module base at this point. So again, these multiple modules here, starting from the core, is what you want to install. And I would highly recommend you install every single one of the modules that support the core following SAPU94 and BART39. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus the core, 12. Install all of those, and you can just, again, search for it by TradeSkillMaster.com. Click the Install button. Once it installs, it'll say Installed. You can go back to the Add-ons tab, whatever it's called for you, to show you what your current add-ons are installed. And then you can just validate to make sure that, yes, I have all the add-ons that are there. And you can check the versions and so forth. So again, this is Trade Skill Master, the add-on. And again, the sole purpose of this is to allow you to interact uh, with the auction house very quickly and efficiently. It also allows you to interact with your crafting skills uh, to be able to work with that. 
allows you to get detailed pricing information based upon your sales on the auction house, uh, your relists, your posts. All these core modules add to the functionality of TradeSkill Master, and I highly recommend getting all of them. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's TradeSkill Master. Uh, is it required to make gold on the auction house? No. Uh, but if you definitely want to gain efficiencies and have a better use of your time, I highly recommend installing TradeSkill Master. Uh, I'm sure initially once you install it, uh, you might uh, be a little bit intimidated, if you will. I was. Uh, but that's the purpose of these videos. Multiple people are making videos out there. There's plenty of content out there to help you uh, set up your TradeSkill Master properly. And then once you set it up, uh, it's not a set it and forget it program. You'll be able to go back and tweak it and make adjustments as you feel comfortable going through the modules. But install all of them and use them as you see fit. So you might only be using the core module and then uh, auctioning. And maybe you don't need, at this point, warehousing. But I would recommend installing it so it is available when you are ready to use that or expand your knowledge of TradeSkill Master. So until then, guys, thank, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Profits from WildProfits.com. If you have any critiques from this video, suggestions, comments for future videos, please reach out to me. You can reach me via Gmail at WildProfits, WildProfits at Gmail.com, or via Twitter at WildProfits. Again, that's with a Z. You can check out my website, WildProfits.com. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, happy earnings.